G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. This video we're looking at the DD Hammocks Bergen Roxa. Let's give you the quick specs and everything of it. The main compartment of the DD Bergen is 37 litres. They call this the Action Pack and that is 8 litres. And we've got two removable side pockets and they are each 5 litres. And it's made out of a 600D uh, Oxford fabric. Yep, 600D Oxford with a PVC inner coating. So when it comes to the rain and everything else, the actual pack itself, the material is waterproof to a high standard. The pack isn't 100% waterproof, as you can imagine. You've got zips on it, we've got access here to get inside. But in general, it's, I'd say, water resistant. So we'll go section by section and break it down as we go. The pros and the cons that I think and I'm not really going to compare this totally with other packs I've got. I'm going to compare this with itself, uh, the price range and value for money. So first of all, the side pockets will take off. No, we'll take off the action pack first. Now it's an eight litre action pack. And that's held on by two Velcro straps, which comes through and holds it in place. So pull it out and this is the first thing I don't like. I've heard a lot of people say they like the Velcro straps but as you can see I am having difficulty getting it out because they're catching on the molly webbing coming across. Now this is the second time I've taken this off with a hook and loop and it's already started to damage the molly webbing on the pack itself. You can see it fraying already. So let's lean it up against there. The action pack. Clever pack. You can get similar online for five or six dollars, not as big. Uh, material wise not as good quality and because the others are smaller there's not as much you can comfortably fit in them and the access with it being so small isn't as good where with this being actual uh, bigger here and the side pockets are actually bigger and oh, the front pockets are all of it's bigger access into this is a lot easier but before we start getting inside to the pouches and the pockets, we'll show you this bit at the back. This is that hook and loop. Now, I can't stand it. It's just, it doesn't do the job like if you've got a clip, a buckle at the bottom or a press stud. Because as you're fitting it on here, your webbing is going through and you're not going to get the actual total con uh, contact with the actual opposite side. And like I said, pulling it in and out of the webbing, it's already damaging the webbing and that's only the second time I've taken this off. So the first time I was to have a look at it. So else you can wear it as a waist on your waist. And they're just tucked behind in here. And again, to hold this little section here against the pack, they've got hook and loop again, or you're at Velcro. I don't know why they've done that. I don't think there's any re uh, reason to do that or any need to do that. Their reason why, I, I don't know. Maybe just to hold it to, uh, flat. So, the total weight of all the whole pack is 1.7 kilos before I forget to tell you. 
Now the buckles on here, there's no brand on them. They're not the highest of quality. They're, they are pretty good. Hey, hello. <laughs> uh, they do hold on well and they do lock in well, nice and stiff. And you can open and close them. A little bit of a push to get these down at first. I think they'll probably weaken off a little bit. What are you doing? Come on, down you go, pest. Go on, puss. Off you go, buddy. Good boy. But they say you can use this around your waist, like most of them. Hook it over your shoulder as a diagonal chest rig. But you look at it, the stitching's all right, the quality's good. The zips on this, they're giant. They are massive. I open and close with ease. Uh, no actual brand on them. But again, the quality seems to be really good. Let's put this back behind, out of the way. There's one gun in there. Fold the other one back up. Tuck it in. And that's the second one gone. Right. Nice and clean finish. Zips, like I said, they're really good. Where are we there? There's only one on this one. Open and close fairly easy. I've just thrown bits and bobs, so that's the magic carpet, some pegs in there. You can see they've got another line in here to make it a lot softer and nicer. Let's bring it closer. We have a pocket here and here. Two small ones, and they're made at the Oxford again. And then you've got the larger one across here, same material. And this has got the waterproof backing on this one. Fairs, fairly good size. Let's do that back up. Tuck that back around. I've got two points here to put things in. I've seen people put their salt and pepper in there. Shanks of uh, paracord. Yeah, I, I don't know if, what I'll use them for. I think I could squeeze my knife in there. Let's grab one of my knives. I think I've got one uh, over there in my drawer, excuse me. So I've got a cat around my feet, bought a piece of string to play with. So this is one of the more and I have the companion. So that sits in there fairly nice. So you can carry a knife in there, say on that side. Anything about that size, they'll fit in there nice. Next, let's do the end pockets, shall we? Wrap that over, and you can see we've got the waterproof backing on that. Excuse me. I've got the my modif uh, modified gear sling there, and there's still room. And that's it, there's nothing else in there, there's no extra pocket in there, it's just one single. The other side is the same. I've got my actual D uh, DD gear sling, as a gear sling that one is. There it comes, and that's the same, it's just the one pocket, nothing extra in there. <laughs> What's it? <laughs> now the main part of this action pack, let's show you what I've got inside. A full, was it 100 feet of paracord. 
Let's move these all over here so the table doesn't get full. <laughs> this is the... I've got the DD Superlight, I think, oh no, that's the frontline hammock in there. That's with the strap swappy slings and tree straps. And that's all that's in there. Now on my, we've got a mesh pocket, which sits on this side, this back. And the rest of it is just aligned pouch. As a standalone, that's pretty good. That is pretty good, I like that. And next bit, the side pockets. Excuse me. <laughs> Again, these have got the Velcro straps on. And because the Velcro itself is catching on the molly it's webbing, it's not that easy to get out. So you're not going to lose your pack. But what will happen if it catches, that will come off and it'll be flapping around. It can. Let's take these out one at a time. But as you can see, I'm struggling again. And again, it's already damaging the webbing. Again, so get it off. That's that one off. Let's take the second one off. And you might see what I've done on this one to show you is when I put it back in after the first time taking it off, I missed the webbing out, and that seems to hold it on to the side pouch a lot easier. But again, it's still catching to webbing now I'm going to keep all this struggle in the video so you can see what it's really like And again on this side, it's already started to fray with the hook and loop, your Velcro coming through. Okay, here's your hook and loop, your Velcro. Like I said, I prefer it with a bit of webbing on the back of this, so I can weave it through the two this webbing and this webbing and just have a buckle or a pestle at the bottom. So how much can you store in these is a the question. Uh, five litres each, tall, slim. So you could squash a tarp in there I suppose, but not much ease because like I said we have to I'll show you this. It's got this flap over the zip to help keep it watertight but you have to unfold it all the way and zip but the zip is about an inch and a half from the end on both sides so you're not going to get a complete full flat back on it so you're going to have to really wind it back on itself and if that's still stuck on the pack imagine that's how that's going to sit Okay, what went in here? 100 gram gas canister and a DD 
XL super light tarp and that filled the whole one of them pockets up. And what's in the second one? Let's get this hook and loop put in place. And this one here, the Valco. I'll keep swapping hook and loop and Valco. It means the same thing, but in different countries, they use different terminologies. And again, another five litre pack, the same as the other one. Fold this back so you can get to the zip. Because it hasn't been used that much, it's still fairly stiff. So I believe with use, that will soften up and get a bit easier. The same large uh, zip on it. Let me roll that over. Again, another 100 gram gas canister. Jet ball flash. And the Tokes 550ml titanium pot set. And that's that pouch. Same material as the main. And you can see the waterproof backing on it. Before we go any further, with having the action pack on the back here, low down, as you're walking, you can actually feel it pulling you backwards. You can feel the straps pulling back on your shoulders. And to me, it makes my neck ache. I've seen a lot of people say they love theirs, they're really comfortable. I, I can't deny they're comfortable with the design and the padding, but just with having that on the back, that is pulling you backwards and putting extra weight and moving it off your hips. So that is going to put a bit of a strain on you. But if that doesn't bother you, then it doesn't bother you. Now the main part of the pack the 37 litre part, I do like it as a standalone like that. Let's get a, there we go. Let's get one of, my, one of my axes down. We've got the loop at the bottom and we've got a point at the top to strap anything you want into it. Now, I don't think this is going to be long enough to reach all the way down. Oh, it might do. So we've got this axe holder or your walking pole holder not quite long enough to go all the way through but as you can see that'll fit nice there and once you tightened it up that's as tight as it goes but still fairly secure moving it around whichever way you want turning it over yeah so really you'd have to connect it to this somehow maybe you just take that around and connect it with a carabiner just to hold that in place or a piece of string or power cord but like I said with your walking poles your walking poles will be down past that bottom loop one of the walking poles let's show you get that through there all the way through and that will fit through the bottom one. And we'll just, yeah, I, actually, no, that's a negative, because look, oh no, we can tighten it up, so we do. There we are, that's a good, it's still tightening it up and hold it in place, so it's not gonna fall. Half me, I thought that actually tightened up at the back. Alright, 
you can see all your molly webbing coming down here so if you wanted to attach anything to it carabiners other pouches you can do put them on the side and on the side we've got one two three four five rows of four and on the front here we've got one two three four five rows of four and we've got a row down here is it oh no that's part of the side one do apologize i counted that is it oh no that's five five rows of five come all the way around to here then the actual web uh, strap in here the webbing goes all the way up so you don't get to use any of these it's just your little d-rings holding that shoulder straps they're about half an inch and as soon as you put pressure on them they go down to about a quarter of an inch which doesn't uh, bother me it's not a negative because a lot of my packs have got very similar size and i always tighten up the waist belt and that's just got one piece of webbing all the way down and then your chest strap come in here it is adjustable it's not quick release let's move them around out of the way now And you can see there we've got the mesh on the back in as well which helps your back breathe a little bit and we've got a couple of channels to let some cool air come through as long as you've not got that on too tight the waist straps has got the same mesh that's about the same thickness as your shoulder straps we've got two rows of five yep two rows of five uh, web in there on each waist belt again your buckles fairly strong now having these parts I'm not a big lover because this is part of what holds up secure so what I'd recommend is I do this one up to a point and just use this side because that has got extra in it which stops it slipping so much even without that side panel and just use the left hand side to adjust it to tighten it or loosen it. Now what have we got right the inside? Ah before we go to the inside let's put that back down. On the top here, we have another zippered pocket, fairly large size. Looking at that, that's probably say three to five liters worth you could fit in there. So, and that's just, there's no mesh in it. It's just the material we waterproof back in and a lining on, which is nice. Okay, use nice big zipper, does up nice and easy. All your, uh, sewing or the threads all look decent or stitching now what I don't really like is like I said this comes all the way up to here and that's the only adjustment point the further you can go and we've still got plenty of room at the top I wish I'd add that down here more so when you tightened it it could have come further and made the top a bit more secure but they haven't really done it Inside, you've got your buckles to get in. And that's just your lid. There's no other pocket on the inside. But what you can see coming through there is your hydration port, which comes out the here. Now, When you've got it done up, the hydration port is in the lid. It's not inside or on the side of the actual main uh, compartment where your water bladder will go. So it's going to have to come out over the top where you've tightened it up, then out under your lid. So I suppose a quick and easy way of doing it. The actual cord is more like a shoelace. It's not really a paracord. 
uh, it's not like I said it's not the best quality line lock on it but for the money you get it's pretty decent for the money you pay now to show you what actually fits in the main compartment if any DD stuff like I said it's 37 litres on here inside we've got the XL frontline hammock there's a pole for it we got the XL tarp and we've got the under blanket and that's all I've got in there can you the, the camera you can see it or not it's a pain okay you can see the pocket here which is your hydration pocket but there's also another internal pocket at the top which at the moment I've got a pillow in there but that's where we let's find out the size so that's what I'd say five or six inches deep by the the width of the back of the uh, packs what's that 12 10 12 inches so a pretty decent size for keeping things in it. Zip size on that is about a size five, I think they'd call that one. But still, does up and does fairly easy, quite smooth. And that's it, that's all that you can fit in there. Well, there was extra space in it, but that's what I fitted in there to show you today. So, now, Personally, I won't be using it with the action pack on and I'm not keen on the side panels on it. But what I think it's good for is a day pack. So or if I'm going out to review something else, I could put it in here because as a standalone like that without the side pockets and the action pack on it pull in, it's a fairly comfortable pack. And you're not having to, I don't know if you can see that, let's get you closer. You see that webbing or fraying? But also using it as a day pack, I've got the webbing on the bottom. So I could strap on there, or I could use it as an overnight pack. You've got your 37 litres inside, which is pretty good. And then you've got the webbing on the outside so you can hang your sleep system on the bottom here. We've got webbing on the top where you could strap something to. And again, all your webbing on the outside, you can strap things to. So as a standalone rucksack, they call it, as a backpack, I'd say, that'd be nice, just like that. But money-wise, value for money, what you pay for one of these, <coughs> you, you are getting value for money. It, it's not one of the big high-spec ones. It's uh, half the price, quarter of the price of some of the other high-spec ones. For, for what you pay, you, you, can, you get, it's good. I find it hard for the words to actually explain it. It, it is value for money, it, there is plenty of ways. And even if you're not gonna use the uh, side pouches, like I said, I'm not, I could store things in there and just put it on the shelf as shelf tidies. And the action pack, I could use as a standalone pack, where I just wanna carry, I don't know, a couple, a couple of snacks in there, my cup kit would fit in there too, a basic first aid kit. And with the bits of webbing on the either side and the front of it too, I can even hang more things off it. Uh, yeah, it, it's pretty good. So, yeah, I'll be using it as a standalone, the 37 litre on its own without the action pack and side pockets. So if you've enjoyed the video and it's given you some good information, 
please go down below if you haven't and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell next to that and select all so you can be notified of all future videos coming out and if you are already a subscriber again i thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care